All right, uh, good morning everyone, good afternoon, or if you are watching this in the evening, good evening to All Things Gumball, where today I want to talk to you about how to make $5,000 in a month working only one day a week. So, I was talking to somebody the other day about the vending business, and this is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the bulk candy vending business, the gumball machine business. We're not talking about the snack machine business or the Coke machine business. I don't know anything about Coke machines or snack machines. And I don't know anything about the Honor Box vending system or program. So I don't want to discuss anything that concerns Honor Boxes or Coke machines or snack machines because honestly, I don't know anything about it. What you can do is if you want to make $5,000 a month with only one day a week of worth, of work, of work, this is what you're going to do. Now, it's going to cost a little bit of money. It's not going to be something that you can easily just jump into without any expense. There is going to be a little bit of an expense involved. There is going to be some work involved. It doesn't just drop into your lap. And if, and if it was easy, everyone would be doing it. What you're going to do is you're going to look in several different places for vending machines. And these are going to be the gumball style vending machines. You don't want to, um, we're looking for the smaller uh, ven vending machines that have one to eight canisters of, of selections for the candy, okay? Now, if you're gonna have a one selection machine, you probably wanna stick with Skittle, not, not Skittles, Chiclets. You want to stick with bubble gum, like little gumballs, and those do well in any condition, in any environment. You, those do well in the heat, in the hot environment. It do, does well inside of restaurants and stores. So if I had a one-headed machine, a one-selection machine, I'm going to put gumballs or chiclets inside of those. If I have two selection machines, I'm going to place uh, peanut M&Ms inside and some Skittles or Chiclets or Gumballs as well. So you have a lot of choices. Now there's five places that I know that you can look for, <clears throat> that I know you can look for vending machines. The place that I have found the most vending machines, but I know this is changing, the times are changing, times are always changing, things are always changing. But when I started the business, Craigslist was probably the most common place where you can find vending machines that are used. And I've said in other videos, don't use or don't buy vending machines that are brand new. Because it's like buying a brand new car. If you buy a brand new car and drive it into a dirty wooden, you know, like a wooded area where there's gravel road, if you take your brand new Ferrari, let's say, you don't want to drive it on a gravel road. You, you, you know, because the dirt is going to kick up from the tires and it's going to scratch the paint. So, the vending machines that you buy, if you buy them brand new, you're going to fall in love with these brand new machines and then you're going to put them into place and nobody's going to be keeping an eye on them and then you're going to end up getting them stolen and then it's going to break your heart because this is a machine that you spent a lot of money on. So buy something used. If you can find a deal for $20 or $30, buy that. If it gets stolen, it doesn't hurt you. You don't feel so bad. So the five places you're going to find your vending machines, Craigslist number one. Facebook is becoming very popular for selling things. You have OfferUp, you have Five Mile, you even have eBay, and you could probably find some things on Amazon. I know I said five, but there's there's six. I don't recommend buying things on eBay because you're going to spend a lot of money on the shipping. Okay. If you buy things on OfferUp and Five Mile and Facebook, hopefully these are going to be in your vicinity, in your area where you live, and you won't have to spend money on shipping. So what are you going to do? You're going to buy vending machines. And the number you're going to stop at, once you've purchased the set number, there is a set number you want to purchase. You want to purchase 100 machines. And it's going to take you some time and it's going to take you some investment. So if you have the money and you just want to spend yourself, uh, spend enough money to get 100 machines, you can buy 100 brand new machines if you want, or you can hunt and scour the, the classifieds and the Craigslist, and you can buy 100 used machines. And what you're going to do is you're going to find places for these hundred machines and it's going to take time to find these locations for these machines. It will take time but you're working on 
you're working on getting $5,000 in a month, only working four days a week or four days a month, okay? One day a week, so that's four days a month. Some months have five weeks, so you're gonna be working five days in that month. Once you get your 100 machines, you go out and you find locations. Now you can hire people to find those locations for you. They're gonna charge you about $50, or you can do what I do and you just look for locations uh, yourself. And it's not that difficult. If you watch some of my videos, you'll see how uh, I do it, and I talk a lot about how I do it in my videos. So what you do is you find yourself 100 locations and then start keeping track of how much money these machines are making. And then you start listing them top to the bottom. The best machines, the best locations are way up here and the worst locations are way down here. So once you've got your 100 machines, don't change anything. Once you find the locations for these machines, if you've got 50 machines and uh, one machine, if you've got 50 machines and let's say one machine makes $50, that's excellent, you wanna keep that. So that's the first machine, that's the first location. If the second one is making 35, keep that one. And let's say you got 50, the 50th one down here, let's say it's making $15. You don't wanna get rid of it until you've got 100 machines working, okay? Once you have your 100 machines, you've got all the way down to 50, let's say this is 25 here in this area, okay? And then these are about 15 and then 100. Let's say the 100th machine you've got, it's making a dollar a month. Now this is terrible, a dollar a month. It's really sad if it's making only a dollar a month and the reason it may make only a dollar a month is it only has two employees there and one of them is diabetic so he doesn't use the machine and the other guy, he sees there's nothing in it that he likes so he's going to be the only customer. And if, and if you and find out, ask, ask in there, why is it only making a dollar a month? Ask the people that are working there, what's going on here? And maybe somebody will say, well, it's got peanut m and I'm allergic to peanuts. And, and it's got Skittles, and I don't like Skittles, and it's got Reese's Pieces, and again, I, I'm allergic to peanuts. So ask the guy, what is it he likes? And maybe your sales will go up. Take a look at your numbers from one to 100, and then keep your best. Once you have 100 machines, look at your worst location, and get it out. Find another home for it. Now, how do you get a machine out of a place where they like it? They may really like it, but it's only making you $5 a month, and you want to find a better location. The goal is to make $50 on every location. Let me repeat that. The goal, let me look into the camera. The goal is to have every machine make 50 bucks. Because if you have 100 machines, and they're all making $50, that will equal $5,000 a month, and it's only gonna take you a day every week to take care of these machines. Every week you go out and you check 20 machines, and in five, five weeks, you're gonna take care of 100 machines. What you do is you wanna take the last one, you wanna take the last two or three and find new locations. Now, let's say you have a location that's making $5 or $10, and they really like the machine and they don't really want you to take it out of there. You can keep it there if you want, have 101 machines and then you'll make $5,000 plus 10 or plus 11 or whatever. Keep it there if you really want. If they're really crying that they want to have you keep that machine there. If you want to get rid of the machine and you want to stick with this plan where you're only working with 100 machines because you want $5,000 a month and you only want to work one day a week on your day off, and I don't recommend uh, Saturday or Sunday because a lot of businesses are closed and you're not going to be able to keep an eye on all your machines when the business is closed. So you want to have a day off like Thursday or Friday. If you're having a hard time getting the machines out of the building, this is what I tell them. If it's been there four months or five months, I say, hey guys, you know, I'm going to take this home, I'm going to take it home, clean it, and I'm going to sterilize it, okay? And then you don't bring it back. And that's how you get a machine out of the building, okay? Now, if you walk in the building, now your phone number should be on all of the machines and the phone number should be on the inside of the machine. A lot of times I've come to pick up a machine and take it out and the people that work there, they say, how do I know that this is your machine? How can you prove it to me? And I, and I tell them, well, my number's inside, on the inside of the machine, where the you know, on the inside of the glass. So they can call and I usually have my phone with me and I say, call the number on the inside of the machine and you'll see my phone ring. And, and plus I've got a key that can unlock it. I know exactly where it is. And I go right for the key 
to unlock it and usually that proves to them that that's my machine. If you put the sticker on the outside of the glass, they may say anybody can do that. Anybody can stick a sticker on the inside of the, on the outside of the glass. Okay, so to recap, how do you make $5,000 a month working only one day a week and you're going to be working on your day off. You're going to take a day off and if you don't have a job, you only need to work one day a week. I would recommend taking a Friday or a Thursday. A lot of times, if you have your vending machines in salons, a lot of times they're closed on a Monday. They're closed on Sundays and Mondays. So I don't recommend you taking off on a Saturday or a Sunday or a Monday. So I want you to take one day, let's say Tuesday, and you check 20 machines, and that would be done in one day. And then the next week you check 20 machines, and in five weeks you're gonna have taken care of 100 machines. Okay, you're gonna start with number one and you're gonna work your way down. And the one that has the least amount of money, once you get 100 out, you're gonna take that one and you're gonna find another location. And you're gonna find locations until they all make $50. I hope that helps you with your own business. And check out some of my other videos. I've got over 100 videos. Uh, if you like these videos, please give a thumbs up. And if you really like these videos, please subscribe. And I will catch you on another video. Have a good evening, have a good morning, or have a good afternoon.